Hi my loves, I hope you all are doing fantastic. So today's tutorial is going to be on this head that you see me rocking here. Many of you keep sending me tons and tons of requests about this hair tutorial and I'm sure some of you are shocked to see me post on a Sunday but because of the request I had to just put it out as soon as I could before you guys kill me. So I'm going to show you guys how I came about this tutorial. Bear in mind that I have my crochet braids on here and this tutorial is great for people on natural hair like myself and also perfect for a bride or an event. So stay tuned to see how I came about this. Starting off my hair, I properly brushed it out already as you can see. So I'm taking one finger and I'm going to demarcate the area that I want to roll from the area that I'm going to leave out. So taking one finger, I'm parting from the other side. You can use a parting comb or anything. I'm using my finger because it's easier. So I'm taking out the section of the hair that I want to roll in the front. Now regardless of any pattern you have on your head, be it side or center, you just have to make sure that whatever you're bringing out would cover the forehead area. So if you have a center, make sure that you put the two um, and two sides from, you take hair from each side rather to make sure that it comes to the middle so that no one can tell if you have any pattern or not. So you don't necessarily have to have your hair going all the way to the back. Then you take out whatever you have um, brought to the front, brush it out properly again to make sure there are no knots or tangles because this will disrupt the neatness of the hair if there are tangles. Then I'm taking three fingers and placing that under the hair, roll, wrapping the tip of the hair around my fingers until I've wrapped everything. Then I'll take out my fingers. As you can see, I'm holding the two sides with two of my hands, then I roll up. So de depending on how much um, or how forward you want the roll to be, you can roll it up until the um, edges of your hair or you roll it till you get to halfway around your forehead area. I like mine to be sitting on my forehead so I don't roll it up to the edges. Of of my hair now you need bobby pins for this look because that's the only thing that will keep your um, victory rolls intact so get bobby pins make sure they are readily available for you to use i'm using just two and i'm pinning to the two sides of the row and what you should have at the end of the day would look somewhat like a sausage roll so try to imagine that you're making a sausage roll with your hair and put everything intact neatly to look like a sausage roll when anyone looks at it so when you're done with that, you're done with the front part of the victory row. So if you want, you can go out looking like this and just style the rest of the hair to the back. But if you want exact style I had on my hair for this look, then you're going to continue rolling the two sides of the hair. Once you're done with that, you're going to move to the side of the hair and we're going to work on one side at a time. So repeat the same process, use your finger to demarcate the amount of hair you want depending on how big you want the victory roll to be. Normally a crochet braid will give you um, volume so most of the time it would be big and I like big hair so take out the amount you want pattern from your ear region to the middle part of your hair or just take out something from the side. I just took from the side but for other times I usually part to the middle of my head then I brush it out properly to make sure that there are no knots as usual. Now I'm repeating the same process of rolling my hair but this time I'm going to be rolling to the side. So I'm going to be rolling from the ear, the part of my ear into the middle part of my head and I'm going to do that by using the same procedure I used for my front row. I'm putting three fingers around the hair and wrapping the tip around my fingers and once i'm done i'm taking out my fingers and continuing to roll i will continue to roll rather until i get to the middle part of my hair 
and then I will use my bobby pins to secure my roll. Now if your bobby pins are really close to you, you can use a hair clip to hold the roll down for the time being before you use your bobby pins but because i'm going to be taking this off once i'm done i didn't bother to use bobby pins so i use the hair clip you can also use a hair clip as long as you you make it invisible so that anybody looking at your hair would not be able to see the hair clip nobody wants to see the pins or the hair clip okay so make sure that the bobby pins and the hair clips you're using are properly hidden within the hair then i'm going to repeat the same process on the other side of my hair done rolling the hair use your hands to shape the hair to fluff it as to give it much volume and once you're satisfied with the result you're ready to hit the roll. now for this part I'm going to show you guys two styles of rocking this hairstyle you can either leave your hair out at both sides of your shoulders as you can see me doing or you can simply take all the leftover hair to one side of your shoulder and do a two strand twist or something just something to keep the hair together and there you have the victory rose which was inspired from the 60s i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you found it really useful if you ever recreate this look or the hairstyle please tag me on social media i'm going to leave all the handles to my social media in the description bar also i'm going to leave the direct link to this makeup look you see me rocking here in the description bar and please subscribe and like this video i'll see you guys next week friday bye